Welcome back to another episode of Initial Dweebs. I'm out here, package arrived. It's time to do some clutch stuff. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got a pile of bolts going on here. Took off the trans. Started putting this together. Um, got the snap ring on this side. Uh, my fork is somewhere around here. I don't know where my fork's at. Slave cylinder. Um, right now, I'm taking off the pressure plate to install the rest of my clutch. Why do you shit. have a cylinder of slaves? Oh, there's my fork. What? Why do you have a cylinder of slaves? We're gonna put the slave cylinder in the trans because it's a slave. I can't believe you'd use that terminology. It's 2019. That's offensive. I'm offended. What's next? You're gonna retard your timing? Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get to it and uh, finish up my, my clutch stuff and hopefully fit this goddamn thing inside the 280. So I have my bearing fully assembled. We have the clutch disc right there, pressure plate, flywheel trans and then the uh the fork is inside there too that i'm gonna put on so we're gonna set up another time lapse and uh put everything back together and then the uh slave cylinder will go on so stay tuned I got the transmission all bolted up and the clutch in there. Next step is I got to finish up putting the slave cylinder in. But once when the slave cylinder is in there, we're going to go ahead and throw it back in to the 280. And I will make a bracket for this little spacer. Um, and hopefully it'll fit, but we'll find out. We got to build a bracket, a spacer for this bracket. We're going to space this out so it'll actually fit and hopefully be straight. Sage still hasn't shown us his Harley. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> All right guys, I got my four plates here and all I have to do is drill holes so it'll go through here. And I did four because I'm going to stack them like this. That way they're twice the thickness. Uh, it's still hot and cutting. It'll be twice the thickness, so it'll create a spacer, and hopefully that's enough space to fix the yaw on this. And for the bracket on the other side, what's gonna happen is, let's see if I can find it. Is that where this sits, it's probably gonna be too high. So, oh shit. So we'll just re-drill so it's lower. That's what's next is to drill holes in these and uh, get that set up and hopefully it's enough space. All right guys, so I have these tack welded and I grind them down. They don't look that pretty but it doesn't matter it's whatever they'll hold next step to this is to throw it on the drill press mark the holes and drill them out and then we will have a spacer for our bracket wherever that went this guy right here boom boom just sit like that so we'll mark them up drill them out and put it on All right, so I've probably been at this for 45 minutes with the step bit, trying to drill these out big enough for the bolts to fit. Um, so I'm probably just gonna replace this with an actual drill bit and get it to the right size, uh, cause this is not working out. So bear with me, trying to build a Jay-Z and fabricate stuff because nothing fits. One week later. What's up guys, back out here. So I'm finishing up uh the cross member the only thing left to do is not get stabbed i just gotta put in my uh my steering rack 
So once the steering rack's in there, then we will finish up the brackets for the Jay-Z and hopefully get it in there. So here we go. All right, guys, so I went to go test fit the brackets and this one I messed up on, this lower right one. I just have to drill it further down to get the bolt to fit. So we're gonna re-drill this uh, just because they're, they're brackets. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna slot, slot this one further down. Um, and we're gonna do that right now. All right, guys, guess what we're doing? Shit myself. <laughs> the Jay-Z. We're putting the Jay-Z in! The Jay-Z. There are two of them, though. For the two Jays. For the five millionth time, we're putting the two J in, and we're going to hope that it actually works. Two Jays. Jay-Z, where are you yeah. at? All right, so it's time for the time lapse in the montage music. <laughs> So, this is, I don't, I don't know how many takes this is for fitting it, but as you can see, it's almost straight. Um, Tell them how bad CX fucking racing sucks. <laughs> CX racing sucks, guys. Do not buy CX racing, well, by the ju by, judging by the way their mounts fit, don't buy CX racing anything. I'm sorry if you're watching this, anybody from CX racing, but your mounts suck ass and we're the second people I've seen on YouTube that have had the same problem with your mounts. So it's not like a user. So with these mounts, what I had to do was build a spacer. So, oh, it's dark. Um, let me grab my flashlight. So what I had to do, obviously, as you guys seen, is I built spacers that bolt to the backside of this. And now what I have to do is because of those spacers, this hole doesn't line up. So I got to drill a hole there and through there. So then it will line up properly and I might cut off the top end depending on how it actually fits for the final final fit. So hopefully with that, it'll be able to line up on this bracket correctly. So I'm gonna drill those holes and we're gonna put it on and see if it fits. All right guys, let me tell you about how much I hate my fucking car and working on cars. When you break 17 fucking drill bits to try to fucking fit a goddamn mount that you pay $500 for, that you can't fucking drill through, that doesn't fit in your fucking car, when you try to fucking Jay-Z swap something into an old rusty piece of shit, but you spend so much fucking money because you don't want to fab your own shit because you think it'd be easy and it doesn't fucking work, and then you do shit like this, and it ends up really fucking cool and rad, and then my car's over there being a piece of shit, it's on Craigslist, OBO, $8,000, $8,000 comes with a swap, go buy it, in Olympia, OBO, 8K. Alrighty guys, so we now have a 2JZ inside of a 77 Datsun 280Z. Uh, it was a pain in the butt to really do, so as far as like recording me putting on the turbo and the intake, we didn't do that just because there was a bunch of complications in actually fitting it. So this mount I actually completely modified, cut the top off, made a new hole. Uh, and this side we had to bang out my uh, the inside of the fender uh, wall in the engine bay to get my manifold to fit and it was a pain in the butt as you can see there's not a lot of clearance around uh, obviously I'm gonna get a different intake I'm not gonna use this knockoff eBay one I'll probably just use the stock OEM one because it comes straight up so the intake will be about here rather than being down here and modifying this so this is pretty much what it looks like and we got it as straight as we could uh don't buy cx racing mounts for a swap like this just fab your own save you a lot of headache because 
there's so much adjustment and they don't fit and I paid like 530 bucks plus shipping. Not worth it. So just fab your own mounts. Huh. Still hate it. So we now have the motor in and now we need to put the wiring harness in. Yeah. So I got to delete a bunch of stuff. I have to buy elbows and tubing and all that for the radiator and the intercooler uh, and gauges and wiring. I still have to do my upgraded fuel pump. Yeah. But anyways, that's it. Catch us on the next episode of Initial Dweebs! Like and subscribe! Oh yeah, yeah, do that.